What's up guys, Death Nico here, and I'm going to show you today how to use Mod Organizer to run Rybash and create a Bash Pass for level lists. Now the first thing you'll want to do before creating a Bash Pass with Rybash is to run Boss. Now there are three reasons why you'll want to run Boss before creating a Bash Patch, and the reason is because 1. This maintains your load order. 2. It'll show you which mods it suggests needs cleaning, and 3. It'll also suggest which mods may need relev and delev tags. So for example, I've got to recognize plugins, and yeah, I know I got some stuff that's dirty, but hey, I've been doing some work, so I need to do some cleaning again. So don't mind this, alright? Now, for example, if you go down to 83 Willows, 101 Bugs, it has bash tag suggestions, bash, delev, and relev. Now, what this does is it actually makes the mod uh, work in sync with other mods properly so that it'll show up in your level lists in game. Without the delev and relev tags, Things may not be running as smooth as you would like with the tags. Now, we're going to keep this up because we're going to need to see which mods need D11 relay tags. And we are going to go back into my organizer. First thing we're going to do is exit boss. And then we're going to open up Rybash. Now, I've shown you in previous videos how to add external executables to my organizer so that you can use external programs such as test 5 edit and boss. Rybash works the same. So, if you don't know how to do it, please follow one of my previous videos, and it'll explain how to do it in detail. Now, once you have Rybash open, what you want to do is, first, take a look at which mods you have installed. And certain mod authors are actually going to recommend that you do not bash their mods into a bash patch. And usually these are mods that add NPCs into the game. For example, Hunting in Skyrim adds Hunters and certain other NPCs to the game. So does Immersive Patrols and so does the Sands of Times mod that was just recently on the Hot Files. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to deactivate the mods that I don't want to merge into the Bash Patch. This is extremely important because certain mods may not function correctly if they are merged into a Bash Patch. Not only that, but in worst case scenarios it can also cause instability in your game. For example, I was hard-headed, and I didn't read all the details whenever I first started using Sands of Times, and I included it in my bash patch. Whenever I did that, I had instability in my game. I excluded it from my bash patch, everything was hunky-dory, crashes and glitches and everything else stopped completely. So please keep this in mind, and make sure that you know what you're doing before you create any patches. So first thing I'm going to do is deactivate my mods that I don't want patched. And then once I have everything deactivated that I don't want in the bash patch, I'm going to take a look at my relive and delive tags. Now, if we go back to the boss log, the one that we were looking at earlier, A through Willows 101 Bugs, suggests bash, delev, relev. And there's a very easy way to do this. We go back into Rybash, and then we scroll up to the plugin that we want to look at, in this case, 83 Willows. And then once we click on that plugin, we can look in the bottom right corner of our Rybash window, and we have a bash tag section. And as you can see, it has listed here DLEV and RELEV. Now going back to our boss log, we see that 83 Willows suggests bashing with DLEV and RELEV tags. And Rybash already has this tag for us. Now if for some odd reason you want to change this, simply right click in the bash tag window, and then you can deactivate DLEV or deactivate RELEV or add any of these other functions that you see here. Now as you can see at the top of this blow box is an automatic function. If we click on this it will actually follow the boss log recommendation and automatically activate the delev and relev tags. Now we'll go back to our boss log and we look at some other plugins we see bash tag suggestions for the unofficial patches and we also see bash tag suggestions for update ESM and Dawnguard ESM. Now before dealing with these, I should let you know that the Update ESM and the Dawnguard ESM are already handled by Rybash to automatically add the D11 relive tag suggested. And just like 83 Willows, the unofficial patches usually come with their bash tag recommendations already active in Rybash as well. For example, we'll take a look at the unofficial Skyrim patch. Back into Rybash, we scroll down to our unofficial patches, and then we check on the unofficial Skyrim patch. And as you can see, it has a DLEV, RELEV, and STATS tag automatically activated in bash tag section. Now as you are working on your patch list, check every single mod 
listed in the boss log for relev and delev tags and follow suit. Usually it's a safe practice. Now that that's taken care of, I'll go back to Ryvash and then I'll click on this button here which loads everything into the proper load order that's shown in Mod Organizer. I'll scroll down to the bottom and I have a Bash Patch 0 ESP. Now this is what you'll see if you do not currently have a Bash Patch for Skyrim. As you can see it's one kilobyte which means that this is an empty patch. So I'll right click on this and then I'll click on Rebuild Patch. The only thing I have checked right now is level lists because that's all I want it to do. I just want to merge level lists. If anything else is checked, uncheck it and then click build patch. And as you can see, it'll generate a patch for us. And whenever it's done generating a patch, it'll bring up a window showing basically a summary of what was changed. It'll show all the active mods and the date and time that the batch patch was created. And if you scroll down, It'll show you the uh, D-Levelers and Re-Levelers for the level lists that it has edited and it will show your merged active list, just any kind of useful information that you may want to look back on later. So click OK. And it'll ask you if you want to activate Bash Patch. Click on Yes. Now before you do anything else, the next step can be done either in Rybash or it can be done in Mod Organizer. So I usually use Rybash to take care of this. Now I have a mod status button that I can click on and it'll bring all the inactive plugins to the bottom of the screen which makes it easy for me to see uh, what's activated, what's deactivated and what I want to reactivate so I'll keep this easy and I'll reactivate everything that I want back into my load order and once that's done you can set it to show the load order again and you can see that even though everything was at the bottom at first whenever it was deactivated Everything that I have reactivated is properly kept in its proper load order, so you don't have to worry about that. Once you've taken care of that, click Exit, go back into Mod Organizer, and as you can see, I now have a bash patch here. Now, the thing about Mod Organizer, though, is you may notice that whenever you create a bash patch, it puts in the overwrite folder. Now, I have an elegant solution for this little problem because Tannen, the creator of Mod Organizer, actually recommends keep the overwrite folder clean. The overwrite folder is actually a sort of a workstation for mod users that are using Mod Organizer. So it's kind of sort of like the carpenter's table. And a good way to keep it clean of bash patches is to actually install the bash patch as a mod. So one thing that I can do is I can close the overwrite folder. Then I can go to where Mod Organizer is installed on my computer. So I will go to Mod Organizer and I will go to Overwrite and I will use uh, 7-zip to basically create a 7-z file. So I will create a 7-zip file by Add to Archive and then I'll click OK. And as you can see, I now have a bash patch 7-zip file. So now I'll go back to Mod Organizer and I'll click on this button here to install manually a mod. Mod Organizer overwrite and my bash patch 7 zip. Double click and as you can see it'll install the bash patch. Click OK. And if you look up here you'll see bashed. Open it up. There's my bash patch. So close that. Go back down to the overwrite folder. And now it is safe to clean these out. So delete the bash patch. Delete the 7-zip file, delete the docs, and now everything is kept clean. Then all you have to do is activate the bash patch that you installed. It's, uh, the default name for it is bash, so look for bashed. If you want to change the name of it, you can do so. For example, for my bash patch, I have it labeled as Mark's bash patch, which has my name in it, so sweet and simple. Well, guys and gals, I hope that y'all found that informative. During this video, I was also planning on covering how to do merge patches as well, but uh, unfortunately, it is thundering outside and a storm is picking up, so it might be a good idea for me to go ahead and cut this recording short for today. Please keep an eye out on my YouTube channel. I plan on uploading more videos regarding Mod Organizer in the near future, and I will also be working with Grand Bulwark on the Nexus community who does the uh, project stability. I am now a member of his team, and we plan on completely overhauling the 
Performance and Stability Project, and we will have a full guide that we will upload as a completely new project that will work in tandem with the current project to teach everyone how to use safe modding practices and to help everybody avoid stuttering, freezing, crashing, just general stability and performance issues they may be experiencing with their game currently and to help new users also set their game up the first time in a fashion that will be friendly to them and give them the ultimate Skyrim experience. So please keep an eye out for that as well. Also, I kindly ask that y'all please endorse my videos on the Skyrim Nexus community and also please come and drop an endorsement for the Skyrim Project Stability. It would be an awesome way to show your appreciation for myself and for Grand Bulwark for the efforts that we are trying to put forth so that everybody can play a stable and a well-modded Skyrim game. This is Death Nico 11 signing off. Thanks a lot guys for watching this video and I will see you in the near future. Until then, have fun! Well done. I don't know where I'd be without you.